Hey folks, Rob here. Uh, got some knots to show you. Uh, sit back and relax and enjoy these uh, knot tying and how I tie knots. I'm sure you guys come up with several different ways of tying knots than I and the way I do it. Um, I don't really know the correct name of these knots, but uh, that's the knots that I use. And uh, as you'll see in the video, uh, one of them I, I explained has failed on me before, but the other one I've never had fail on me yet. So enjoy my knot tying uh, episode. Like if you like, subscribe if you want, and have a good one, YouTube. Hello, YouTube, Robert here. I wanted to show you some ways I tie my hook to my line I'm using some building wire to demonstrate a hook. <clears throat> okay, so this is like one way I like to tie. <clears throat> I like to make a loop and run that loop. Yeah. Ran my finger. <clears throat> Grab this part and pull it off my finger and run the loop. In there, cinch it tight. Cut off your tag end. And then what I like to do is just run this loop through the hook. Then run your the end of the. I, I I ran my loop. I put my loop through the, the eye of the hook. Grab my end of my leader. Put it through that, and then. I forgot what the name of this knot is. I have no idea what the knot is, but that's how I like to do it. And uh, see if I can get my camera to focus on that. But everyone knows that knot. Now this knot, I use this quite a bit too. Again, I'm using some billing wire to demonstrate. Run my line through there. <clears throat> make a loop like this then what I do is I grab my oh, swivel or I grab my hook and just spin it and spin it and spin it so then I got all those and then I you see how many times I got those twists in there then I hold it so I can't go and I go at the very bottom of that loop then I hold on to the tag end and cinch it tight. I know that is a, as a fisherman's knot, but I'm not quite sure if that is what it's really called. But that's another knot I use a lot. I find this knot to be better. It's strong, it holds. I've never lost any fish this that way. I have lost fish using this knot. But using this knot, I've never lost anything. Anything. And then, you know, you gotta also think about uh, hooking a bad snag or maybe a really big fish, and it screwed up your hook really bad. Sometimes it can be a pain in the butt, but sometimes you can just undo this. Okay, so got discard the bad hook and you still have this loop grab your new hook and same thing and you grab the end of your leader if anyone can tell me the name of this knot Please tell me in the description below because I love it. And there I am. I'm back in business. I'm ready to fish again. I find it to be a quicker knot to do. So I just wanted to show you my knots. I, I know I'm probably doing them a lot a uh, different way than you guys normally do. But I wanted to, I've never done a knot video before. And so I just wanted to share with you the way I do my fisherman's knots. So, uh, 
yeah, like if you like, subscribe if you want to. Have a good one, YouTube.